Hockey is back. So we're going to be doing the first ever 32 team imperialism tournament to determine the best team in the NHL. Here's the map. And the first team competing is the newest team in the NHL, the Utah Hockey Club. The way this works is we use the team wheels to determine which team is attacked. Then we spin the arrow to determine who gets the tap. So now we have Utah attacking Vegas and the loser is eliminated. Let's begin. All right, and here we go. Under a minute to go. Utah has a 2-1 lead here in the third period. Can they score here, Keller? Can they break it open? No, they can't. Jack Eichel up to stone. Vegas has to score here. The game is over. I wonder if, yeah, they're going to go empty net here. 35 seconds to go. Oh, no. If Utah scores here, it's over. They get the puck back. Sergachev. Krause is going to take. Oh, oh, he missed. Oh, my God. Stone, they have 20 seconds to go on Carlson. Here come the, here come the Knights. Oh, great save. 11 seconds to go. Can the Knights rip one more? Oh, one more save. Stone, the final shot. And Utah's going to take down Vegas. Wow. On the road. Okay, so now that we've seen that, obviously Utah has taken over the entire state of Nevada. That's kind of how this is going to go. Let's get into the next game. Next up, we're going to have the Minis no, the Los Angeles Kings. And they're going to be going to the Northwest, which means they're going to take on the San Jose Sharks in a battle of California. And the Kings are going to come into San Jose and take down the Sharks. So two straight road wins in the video. We've got some great games too. This is what the map looks like with the final 30 teams. We've eliminated a couple teams out West. Let's get to the next game. Next team up is going to be the avalanche now they're in an interesting spot they might just take a land depending on where this goes it's gonna go to the southwest a little bit and they are they're just gonna take new mexico so they don't actually have to play they're just going to take land here so who's gonna be landing on next it's gonna be the philadelphia flyers now i'm pretty sure they're landlocked could be wrong it's gonna go to the east and they're gonna have to take on the new jersey devils it's gonna be a good game two really high level east coast teams we're in for a good one and here we go 15 seconds to go the devils just scored off a of jack hughes redirect if philly can hold on for the next 15 seconds they will survive on the road we'll have seen three straight road wins i didn't expect and i don't think Jersey's going to be able to do it. No, they're not. And Philly survives. New Jersey made it interesting late, but at the end of the day, they survive in advance. All right. And the next team up, let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be the Rangers. Okay, so we might get a battle in New York here. Let's see where this arrow goes. I'm going to go to the southeast. And that's going to put them against the Islanders. I was right. So we're going to get a battle of New York in this game. All right. And here we go. The Rangers up by one. Under a minute to go left in the third period. Empty net for the Islanders. Can they score here? Bizarre. Oh, just misses it there. Polex. Down to Horvat. The Rangers have to clear this. Smith. Can he score on an empty net? He misses. Oh, my God. Here we go. Under 30 to go. Pelic. Duclair. Oh, my God. The Rangers are keeping the pressure up. Pelic. Off the boards to Horvat. Does he have it in him? Nope. Off the goalie. Is Fox going to clear? 15 to go. Miller. Is he going to shoot? He misses. This is the last chance for the Islanders. Off the boards. Five seconds. Lee. Gotta let it go. And the Rangers are gonna come in and take down the Islanders. Oh my goodness. Next up, we're gonna get our first chance. Oh no, we're gonna see the Kings again. So our first repeat. And this time the Kings are gonna go to the Northwest. That's East. Northeast. And they're gonna take on Utah. The winner of this is gonna have almost the entire West Coast. And they're gonna have a massive plot of land. All right, under a minute to go here in the third period. The Kings up one here in Utah. Can the hockey club come back and tie the game here? Keller, empty net for Utah. Here come the hockey club. And yep, 41 seconds to go. Headed to a faceoff. Got an empty net here for Utah. Automatically, they lose the faceoff. Garbakov over to Clark. They're just trying to kill time. Garbakov, I'm surprised they're not trying to get a score here. Oh, they don't. Up to Copa. Guitar, yep. Empty net. And Utah has about 25 seconds to go. Marino. Oh, he loses the puck. Oh, Kempe missed us. Oh, my God. The Kings are doing a great job of just applying pressure and keeping the puck on this side of the ice. But it doesn't matter. Here comes Marino. 10 seconds to go. Gunther. He's got probably one more chance here. Kraus. Oh, with under five to go. Utah ties it. Lost in Kraus with three seconds to go. We're headed to overtime. What a shot. Up. Oh. Top left corner of the net. The Kings have 29 shots on goal. Utah has seven in this match is tied. That's crazy. We're headed to overtime for the first time in this video. Here we go. One on the goalie. Kempe. Goal. Kings in overtime. Oh my goodness. And our first overtime game goes to the road team. All right. Who is going to get a chance to play next? Let's see who it is. It's going to be the Flyers. And Philly's going to be attacking directly west, which means they get to take on in-state rival the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's going to be a great game and the pittsburgh penguins are going to defend home ice and blow out the philadelphia flyers 
Wow. Definitely did not expect this. All right. The next team up is going to be, are we going to get the Kings again? We The Kings have to play for a third straight game. Not third straight, but they have to play three times in a row. They're going to the Northwest. I actually believe this means they don't have to play anybody. They don't. They're just going to take over Oregon. All right. Let's spin again. Let's see who we got next. Okay. So we're going to get the Dallas Stars for the first time. And they're actually going to go to the Northwest, which means they're just going to take over Oklahoma as well. So again, we just keep getting teams take over land, but that just makes them bigger targets that's not always a good thing all right who do we got next we got the are we gonna get the kings again no fucking way nope we get the minnesota wild okay i actually don't know if there's any teams directly connected to the minnesota wild they're gonna go to southeast which means they're gonna hit wisconsin and they're just gonna take over wisconsin again we're just gonna continue to get teams taking over land here all right four in a row hopefully this is a, an actual game and we're gonna get the ottawa senators and they're gonna be attacking to the northwest which means we're gonna get a battle of canada as ottawa takes on toronto and here the Ottawa Senators are going to take down Toronto in advance. Wow. All right, so we're down to the top 25. This is what the map looks like. Again, the Kings have a lot of land out west. We've seen Ottawa kind of take over a little bit of Canada. Not much movement up in the northeast outside of Pittsburgh and the Rangers. Well, we got a long way to go. We have some great games too. Next up, we're going to be seeing the Senators again, or are we going to get the Rangers again? Oh, we're getting the Senators again. So back-to-back -back game from the Ottawa Senators, and they're going to be going to the West, which technically means they would hit this, like, piece of, like, Michigan right here. This isn't Lake Michigan. I don't know what this lake is. Lake Superior? I think it's Lake Superior. Um, and we'd follow this across. They're actually going to be taking on the Minnesota Wild, so this is going to be an interesting game. Here we go. Under a minute to go. Ottawa has a 2-1 lead here in Minnesota. Do the Wild have one last push in them under a minute to go, and they're going to an empty net here yep Hartman up the ice across the middle oh no Chabot. Uh oh here we go oh my how do you miss that jero spurgeon up to kaprizov up to zuccarello here we go back to kaprizov oh 30 to go do the senators have volley oh, missed another one Garo! oh what an angle from Garo! claude Garo seals the game and ottawa is gonna come into the excel center and take down the wild all right the next team up let's see where it's gonna be it's gonna be the kings again oh my god we've landed on the kings so many different times and they're gonna be attacking to the south which means i believe this is gonna be another battle for california kings are gonna take on the ducks the winner of this will control almost the entire west coast and the entire state of california and just like that the kings are going to come into anaheim and blow out the ducks and la is going to control almost the entire west coast up next we're going to get our first look at the dallas stars and they're going to be attacking to the southeast now technically that just means they're going to take over louisiana so we're not going to see the stars yet but they will get more land and they're going to control a decent amount of the south all right so will another team just grab some land or will we finally get another team to play we're going to get the canucks and now i believe the canucks are landlocked let's see where this goes goes to the south Southwest. This means Vancouver is going to take on Seattle, and the winner will control the rest of the West Coast that isn't controlled by the Kings. Under a minute to go. Here we go. Vancouver, Seattle haven't scored a goal yet. Heronic, full pressure just slips by here at Climate Pledge Arena. Again, we might be headed to overtime here. Seattle, Bieners, 37 to go. Aberle, we got a lot of pressure here. McCann, over to Dunn. Nothing going for Seattle. There's been some great defense. Heronic up to Hoglander, about 25 seconds to go. Boser, one on three on the left side of the ice over to Hughes oh here we go Hughes oh he gets ripped Bjergstrand up to Gorday one-on-one -on -one. can he get by him here we go 10 seconds to go oh he, oh my goodness we're gonna go to overtime we are gonna go to overtime Hoglander Bozer two seconds to go he's gotta fire it and we're headed to extra time on the ice here we go a minute to go here in overtime McCann here three three no goals great defense by Hughes Again, three on three in overtime is our second, I believe our second overtime game we've seen in this video. Again, 49 to go. Miller takes a shot, not able to get him. He enters to McCann. Here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, he gets popped. Oh, it's a one on nil. McCann, he can't get by Demko. Here we go, face off. Vancouver wins the face off. Heronic. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. Oh, he doesn't get it by it. What do we got going on here? Oh, they're still in the, in the zone. Besser, oh, he can't get it by Decord. Under 20 to go. We're in an interesting spot here because after this, if they don't score in the next 20 seconds, we're going to get our first shootout of the video. Montour, up the ice, two on one, 20 to go. Not skating with him. Nobody's skating with him. He's going on. Oh, he gets it poked away. Boser, oh, turn around. Everly, to the Gordy. Oh, he can't strike it in. Gordy, over to Montour. One last strike, and we're going to a shootout. Here we go. Face off shootout, run one. Garland sneaks it by. Vancouver strikes first. Connor Garland, the first goal of the shootout. Sneaks it right up in between the pads. Oh, my goodness. Can Seattle answer back? Let's find out. Here comes McCann. 
Deeks, Deeks, Deeks. Oh, he can't. Great defense. Vancouver can really put the pressure on here if Miller can score. Back and forth. Saved by Decord. Seattle has a chance to even it up. Eberle needs it here. Back forth. And he gets it between the wickets. We have a tie game. Here we go. Can Pedersen. He doesn't get it by it. Seattle wins it with the goal here. Can Wright take down Vancouver? Here we go. Right side. He's going to cross to his left. Oh my goodness. We go to a round four. Ken Brusque. He doesn't. Oh my God. Seattle wins it with a, with a goal here. Veneers. Left. Right. Deep. 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 Great defense. We go to a round five. Here comes Besser. On the right side. He's going to come back to his left to come back to his right. Seattle wins it with a goal. Here comes Schwartz. Right side. Down the middle. Bang. Bang. Oh, we go to a round six. Here comes Hughes. Right. Oh, whoa. He didn't even get a shot off. What was that? Seattle. A chance to win. Tolvainen. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Deep. 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 He gets it. Seattle in the sixth shootout round takes down Vancouver. Oh my God. What a match. All right. Next up. We're going to land on the stars again. I wonder if they're actually going to play though. Stars headed to the Southeast, which technically means they're just going to take over more land. All right. Are we going to get some more land grabbing or are we going to get some actual hockey playing? Going to get Buffalo. They are, I'm like 99% sure landlocked, which means we're going to get some real hockey. They're going to the Northwest. And because of where Buffalo is, it's going to go down this right side here or left side here excuse me and they're gonna take on pittsburgh here we go under a minute to go buffalo has a one point lead against pittsburgh here in their home arena <sighs> can the penguins come back and tie it send this game to overtime will the sabers coming to pittsburgh win this game let's find out Pedereka here 44 to go just trying to kill the clock here here we go crosby wins the face off the penguins have to get out of their side of the ice they want to have an empty net here. Oh my God, they're gonna, they're, the Buffalo Sabres are keeping the pressure up. Crosby loses the face off the Sabres, go for it. Nope, here we go, Crosby's gonna take off. Up to O'Connor, gonna have an empty net. 25 to go, over to Rust. Rust, over to Ludwig, back to Greslick. He's gonna take a shot, Crosby, oh! What a save by Lukanen. Empty net for the Penguins. Six on five under 15 seconds to go. Crosby has to win the face off. Wins the face off to Greslick, tied, oh, Connor! What a save by, wow! Ludwig, stopped by a saber, and Buffalo is going to survive. Oh my God, Pittsburgh with a furious rally to end this game. The next team that's gonna be playing is the Bruins. I believe this is the first time we've seen Boston, and I think they're landlocked, I could be wrong. They're gonna be going to the West. I mean, it's gonna be interesting. Are they gonna take on New York? Or are they gonna just take Vermont? Let's take a look at this. We're just gonna give Boston some land up here. I know it might be a cop out, but listen, these teams have to accumulate land anyway, so we might as well just give it to them now. All right, who will be spun on next? And the winner of this one, they play in the top 20. So we're gonna get the Florida Panthers. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Florida is landlocked. I don't think it matters where this goes. I believe they have to take on Tampa Bay. But they're going south, again, doesn't necessarily matter. We're gonna get a battle of Florida here and the winner of this secures their spot in the top 20. Sam Reinhardt just scored the third goal of the match for the Florida Panthers. And they go up 3-1 and they're gonna take down the Tampa Bay Lightning. What a tip, we can see it here. Redirected it into the net, 3-1 with just under a minute to go in the third period. This match is over. And so this is what the map looks like. We're down to the top 20 teams. Again, a lot of movement out west, up in the northeast part of Canada. We've seen some movement in the south here with Dallas and Florida. And then in the upper northeast of, of America, obviously Buffalo and New York have started to take over some land. Who will be the first team to be eliminated in the top 20? Let's find out. We're gonna see the Calgary Flames. Uh, which way are they gonna be going? They're gonna be headed to the southwest which means they're gonna take on seattle now the winner of this is gonna get this entire northwest portion of north america they're gonna have if not the most land damn near close to it and as this one winds down it was never close calgary ripped off three straight goals to blank seattle and eliminate the kraken from the map all right who is gonna be next going to be the red wings this is the first time we've seen the red wings in this video and they're gonna be attacking to the southeast which means they're gonna take on columbus again neither of these teams have played we're already out like 11, 12 teams, and we're finally getting to see some new ones. So that's exciting. And Detroit is going to annihilate the Blue Jackets 3 0 and take them out of the game. All right, up next, let's see who we got. We got the Canadian. No, we're getting the LA Kings again. Now, I don't know who the Kings are surrounded by at this point because I believe they are running out of room. This is going to go to the Southwest, but it's going to go down. So that's an interesting note. And because of that, they're not going to play anybody. They're just going to take over Arizona. If we'd done this last year, they would have taken over the Coyotes, but Coyotes are no more. All right, let's get another spin in here. Let's see who we got. We're going to get the Avalanche. Now, we got Avalanche early, but they haven't played anybody. They just took over some land. Now, this is a big spin. This is going to go to the North. 
northwest-ish. And they're just gonna take over Wyoming again. Just another land grab. You're slowly starting to see Colorado and LA take over most of the land in the west, to, you know, this whole west coast area. All right, two straight land grabs. We finally get a game between teams. We're gonna get, no way we get the Kings again. No, okay, so we get the Panthers. Second time landing on the Panthers. I believe they're actually not surrounded by anybody. This is gonna go pretty much directly northeast. Again, they're just gonna take over more land. We're getting a lot of teams just accumulating land because we're running out of teams. We still have a lot of land to take. All right, three straight land grabs. Will we make it four or will we get a game? We're gonna get the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins, their team, I believe they are actually not surrounded by anything. They legitimately might be another land grab. Southeast from Boston. Yeah, they're just gonna take over. Again, we've had four straight land grabs here and that one really didn't do much because there's not, you know, a lot of states up in the Northeast. They're very small and really didn't accumulate much there. Boston, again, has been lucked out so far. Can we make it five in a row? Can we make it a five, Pete? We're gonna get, no way we get the Bruins again. We get the Boston Bruins again? Okay. They're just gonna probably get more. Yep, going pretty much directly east. It's kind of just ever so slightly on a downward angle. We're gonna give them more land in the South down here. But again, they still have room to the Northwest and to the Northeast if they need to. However, they are running out of room. Can we get an MJ? Can we get a six Pete? Even though MJ didn't six Pete, can we, no fucking way we land on Boston again. Buffalo, okay. Buffalo, I believe they are landlocked. So they're gonna have to play someone. They're going pretty much directly South. So next up, we're gonna have Buffalo take on Washington. And just like that, the Buffalo Sabres are gonna come into the nation's capital and knock off Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals in a resounding 4-1 to win. I was not expecting it to be this much of a blowout. All right, next up, are we gonna get the Bruins again? We are, so back-to-back -back games for the Boston Bruins. Oh, Boston Bruins didn't play. I'm kidding, I'm talking about the Sabres. Boston's gonna go to the Northeast, and that means they're just gonna take over Maine. Boston has been landed on like four times, and they have yet to actually have to play, which is kind of advantageous for the Boston Bruins, but we'll see how it turns out for them in the end. Will we get some more land grab, or we finally get another game? Let's see, we get this so no the avalanche avalanche i don't believe they played a game either they've been a very land grabby team as well they could do that too we're going to the northeast and for the avalanche they're just going to take more land is it going to be kansas or is it going to be nebraska let's see it's going to be nebraska all right can we make it three in a row we're getting the sabers i'm 95 percent sure the sabers are landlocked going to the northwest ish because this is northwest and it's going more to the north than it is to the west we're gonna have the buffalo sabers take on the new york rangers in a battle for new york here we go under a minute to go buffalo just scored to take a 3-2 lead here in New York. Parika up the side. Buffalo trying to hold on to the lead. The Rangers, they have 45 seconds to go. Trocek, they're going to have an empty net soon here. Lafreniere, empty net for the Rangers. Here come, oh, the Sabres got the puck back. Dolan, can they strike from mid-ice? Oh, they got, oh, Puck has the puck. Up to Thompson. Oh, he tried to shoot it in there. Fox over to Panarin. Up to, Z oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. I never know how to do it. Here we go. Over to Miller. Off the, oh my God, Zucker. Dolan, 20 seconds to go. Cozens, no energy left in the Sabres. They just need one goal in the game. Oh, he got smoked. 10 seconds goal. Fox, up the ice. Up, Miller, six seconds. Scheidel, oh, he's pinned against the boards. Scheidel, it's over. Buffalo comes into New York and takes down the Rangers. Oh my goodness. Calgary, we landed on them, as you can see right here. They're attacking to the Southwest right here and that means they're gonna be going like this we're gonna miss this hit this and this isn't connected to the land so this it doesn't count so it's gonna go down and they're gonna take on the kings the winner of this is gonna have the entire west coast and the kings are gonna defend home ice and take down the flames and with this win they're gonna take over the entire west coast so this is what the map looks like we got i think 15 teams left obviously you can see um of the 15 teams 11 of them actually haven't played we haven't seen edmonton winnipeg montreal boston chicago st louis colorado dallas nashville carolina and edmonton I might have missed one, but we have, again, we haven't seen the, the four teams up in Canada here. We haven't seen Boston, haven't seen Carolina, Nashville, Dallas, Colorado, or Chicago, or St. Louis. The Kings own the entire West Coast. Obviously, Montreal and Ottawa control almost the entire Northeast. Got a little bit of Buffalo there. Dallas controls the South. Florida controls, obviously, the Southeast. Colorado controls this weird, like, Rocky Mountain range pretty much from North to South. It's a really interesting map. And, yeah, we still got 14 games to go, boys, and we're going to see a lot of new teams. So, if your team hasn't played yet, buckle up. All right, so we're down to the top 15. Let's see who is the first team team eliminated in this one it's gonna be maybe the winnipeg jets we're gonna see which way they go and because they're attacking to the northeast winnipeg's actually gonna be safe because it's more north than east so they're just gonna take over another northern plot of land up here and they're gonna be safe all right who will play will it be it, winnipeg is not getting out of this one and they're going to the southeast 
which means they have to take on the Senators in a Battle of Canada. Winner, this is going to have a lot of land in the north slash middle of the continent. All right, and here with 18 seconds to go, Winnipeg has a 1-0 lead on Ottawa. Empty net here for the Senators. They have to score a goal here to tie the game, send it to overtime. 15 to go, Velarde loses the puck, and the Jets, I think they're going to get out of this with a win. Sandberg, he's going to skate up the ice, just misses it. Got three seconds, they got to fire it off now, and Winnipeg is going to come into Ottawa and upset the Senators. Wow. All right, here we go. Who will be playing next? We're going to get the Boston Bruins. Now, technically, the Bruins still have some land they could take over, depending on where this goes. They are running out of real estate. And they're going to go to the... going to go east. And because of that, because this is technically pointed more north than south, we're going to go up the coast, and they're just going to take this little piece of land. The Boston Bruins are one of the lucky... Again, they've been landed on so many different times, but they just haven't had to play because of the way the map is laid out. When will we finally see the Bruins? Will it be here? It will not. We're going to see the Carolina Hurricanes, though. Um, they do have some land around them, so technically this could be another land grab. Let's see. This is going northwest. Nope, northeast. And then it's going to take over Virginia. So again, another land grab here, but... But we're running out of real estate for land grabs, which is kind of a good thing. All right, well, we get three straight land grabs in a row. Let's find out. We get the Panthers. No, we get the Oilers. There's another team that technically could, I believe, grab land, depending on where the, the arrows lands. This is going northeast. And the Oilers, they're going to grab some more land. Let's see if they grab the one next. I guess they're both technically next to Winnipeg. We're going to have them grab this one because I'm a nice guy. I don't want to penalize Edmonton. They haven't been landed on. That's not their fault. Three straight land grabs in a row. Can we make it four? I think the most we did was six, maybe seven in a row. We're going to get Winnipeg. Winnipeg might take on Edmonton now. Let's see. Go Going to the northwest. And no, Winnipeg's gonna take over the land next to Edmonton. So we are gonna get four in a row. But as you can see on the map, we're really running out of like real estate in terms of where things can be that isn't attacking each other. Obviously, we have some decent amount here in the Midwest and then like this you know, Midwest East area. We're running out of spot. We have four straight land grabs. Can we get a fifth? Can we go for a 5P to Kobe? We're going to get the Nashville Predators. This is one of the teams that technically has a lot of land around them. We can see a land grab from them. They're going to go to the Northwest. And I believe this is just going to hit Kentucky. Yeah, it is. So we're going to get another land grab. That's five in a row. However, we are running out. Can we get an MJ? Can we get a Mike? We're getting the Avalanche. Again, another team we've landed on a lot. Haven't had any playing time with the Avalanche yet. Going to the Southeast. So this could get Kansas. Take a look at this. Lining it up. It is. It's just gonna eat Kansas before it hits Oklahoma. Okay, Colorado. I'm gonna get this is six in a row. I think this is the most we've had. I don't think we've hit seven. Colorado has pretty much one way they can run at this point. Six in a row. Can we make it seven? Can we go for a Robert Ory? We're getting the Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars, I believe, are landlocked. I don't think there's anywhere for the Stars to run. Going to the southeast, and if we take the southeast, it's more east, obviously, than west. Take it. Oh, my God. We're not. We're getting seven land grabs in a row. I did not expect this. Okay. Can we get eight? Can we somehow get eight land grabs in a row? We're getting the Montreal. I'm pretty sure Montreal's landlocked. We're going to go to the south. Montreal. Wait, this is actually interesting. It's not gonna, we're gonna get a game. I think it just hits Winnipeg before it hits Buffalo. So we're gonna get a Montreal, again, another battle for Canada. Whoever wins this is gonna have like pretty much the entire northeast part of Canada. And Montreal is gonna come into Winnipeg and absolutely annihilate the Jets 4-1. This game was never really close. They never really even had a chance to go to an empty net. And they're gonna take over almost all of Canada. All right, who will be playing next? Obviously, Montreal took a lot of land up. We're gonna get the St. Louis Blues now. Again, this is one of the teams that does have a significant amount of land around them open. So this might just be a land grab. And it's gonna go to the pretty much directly east. They're going to take out the Blackhawks. So these are two teams we haven't seen play once. And one of them's going to get eliminated right now. And I'm a Blackhawks guy. So I really hope the Hawks can pull this off. Under a minute to go. The Hawks are tied with the Blues in a rivalry game. Can the Blues or someone break this tie here at the United Center? Hall has it over to the left wing. Shot on goal. Oh, he just missed it over the right post. Proyako to Letty. Letty is out of gas. Oh my goodness. 30 to go. Neighbors up the ice. Do they have time for a line change. Thomas. No. Over the top! Oh my god, the Blackhawks almost just lost. Up the ice, Hall. Doesn't have numbers, loses the puck. Back to Vlasic, 72, 15 seconds to go. Rips a shot on ice. Hall! Loses, gets the puck back, 10 to go! Oh my god, they're getting all these great shots on the net. Oh, we're six to go. We look like we're headed for overtime. If the Blackhawks don't win this faceoff, we're going to overtime here. Here we go. Hawks lose the faceoff. Pronovic over to Thomas, and we're headed to overtime. And in overtime on the break! Seth Jones to Tavo Teravainen just took down the blues let's get this replay on here oh my god i didn't even see it i wasn't paying attention the hawks take down the blues in overtime two, two of terrifying and from seth jones just sneaks it past the goalie oh my goodness and the hawks eliminate the blues let's go ripped it between the pads all right who will be playing next we're gonna get the florida panthers again i believe this is a team that does have some land to grab so it will depend on where this goes gonna go pretty much directly north and that is just gonna hit south carolina so we are gonna get another land grab here we got a lot of red on the map 
map still. Um, it is a little bit confusing, but you'll figure it out. All right, here we go. More land grab or we get another game? We're going to get the Canadians. I'm pretty sure there's not much room for there to go. Let's see where we're going to go with this one. They're going to go directly to the south, a little bit southwest. And this is interesting. So I don't really know where this is going to go like here, but it's going to hit like this. And obviously that's not going to, hmm. So we're not going to get a land grab here. So let's see where this is going to go. So it's like, we can see it right here. It goes pretty much directly Southwest. That would hit, you know, this great lake and these aren't connected. So is it more South or is it more West? I think it feels more West. So it feels like we'd go up this and around this and take on Detroit. So we're going to get Montreal headed down to Detroit to see if they can take down the Red Wings. Let's find out. Here we go. Eight seconds to go. Seven seconds to go. Montreal up by one. A face off here. If Detroit wins it, they lose an empty net. The Red Wings have to get the puck or the, the Canadians are going to win. They're going to do it. Montreal is going to come into Detroit and take down the Red Wings. And the winner of this one is going to be securing their spot in the top 10. We're going to get the Bruins. I think the Bruins are finally out of room to run. Here we go. They're going to go to the north, north, northeast. And that means they're going to have to take on the Canadians. So the Montreal Canadiens just took over all the land that the Red Wings had right here. Now they have to defend all of this from Boston. Under a minute to go. Boston and Montreal tied. Here we go. We got to run out on a line change. Frederick gets around left side of the ice. Going to get stuck on the boards. We're 40 seconds away from overtime. Back to Carlo. Going to do a line change for the Bruins. Shot on the goal. No good. Montreal's going to have... No, they're going to lose the... Oh no, they got it back. Gallagher up to Dvorak. Boston has a a lot of pressure Anderson up they did get a line change off there can Montreal answer right here they cannot here we go 20 seconds to go Zaka up the ice doesn't have numbers he's gonna take it in himself does not score Matthewson up to Roy 10 seconds to go otherwise we're going to overtime Pasternak 10 to go he's gotta let it fly rip nope damn Dvorak and three seconds to go. Linda Molestis goes in right here. We're going to overtime. Here we go under a minute to go. Still tied. We might have our second shootout game of the video. Matheson. Oh, he's got a break. Oh, no, he doesn't. Here he comes. Is he going to pass it back? He doesn't. He's oh, he missed. Under 40 seconds to go. Montreal wins the faceoff. Cool. Evans. Oh, no. Doesn't get it away. Swayman has played great defense in goal. He's been fantastic in the net. Here we go. Montreal loses the faceoff. 30 seconds to go. Here come the Bruins. Lindholm. Not going to go line change for the Bruins. Going to get by. Here we go. Is he going to pass it? He is. Cool. Coyle, oh, he doesn't get it off. Coyle up to Lindholm. They're going to reset. Oh, he's going to lose the... Nope, Carlo gets the puck back. Is he going to fire it? Not going anywhere. 15 seconds to go. This is, looks like a dead possession for the Bruins. Behind the net, over to Coyle. Lindholm, Rister. Nope, nothing. Lindholm, they get one more one-timer? They do not. Ghoul is going to get it up to Evans. He might rip a one-timer here just for the old time's sake, and we're going to go to a shootout. I'm not going to lie, I just missed that completely, but he missed. I was not paying attention. That's 100% my fault. Boston misses the first face-off opportunity, or excuse me, shootout opportunity. Here comes Suzuki. Canadians back and forth. He gets it! Montreal strikes first! A huge goal for the Canadians and Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki? Bro, Nick Suzuki, I am just butchering these man's names. I'm so sorry. Goes right between the wickets. I lied, didn't go between the wickets. He actually went between, I believe, either over his left shoulder. Let's see, I can't actually see. He does. He went right over his left shoulder. What a nice move with the stick. Here comes Zaka. Can Boston answer? This is a huge opportunity for Boston. Need it. And Monomalt stops him. If Montreal gets it here, this is it. If Safoski can score this goal, the Canadians take down the Bruins. Here we go. From the right. Gets, she saves it. Oh my God, I thought it slipped through. This is for the game. Here comes Marchand. If you get this, you stay alive. If not, you lose. And the Bruins fall to Montreal in a shootout. Okay, so this is what the map looks like with the top 10 teams. We have 10 teams left, obviously. The Oilers, Canadians, Kings, Avalanche, Stars, Blackhawks, Predators, Hurricanes, Sabres, and Panthers. Of these 10, five of them haven't even played, right? Montreal has taken over the entire north slash northeast corner of the map. Uh, Buffalo has the tri-state area. Carolina and Nashville have the upper south. Florida has the southeast. Dallas has the south. Colorado has the entire Rocky Mountains. The Kings have the entire West Coast, and then Edmonton has this part in the middle of nowhere. Blackhawks have uh, essentially the Midwest. And again, of those, of these ten teams, we haven't seen Edmonton, we haven't seen Colorado, we haven't seen Dallas, we haven't seen Chicago, or excuse me, we, we have seen Chicago, we haven't seen Nashville, and we haven't seen Carolina. So there's still so many teams left to see. All right, we're here at the top ten. Who will be the first team eliminated? We're gonna see the Dallas Stars. I think we're finally out of room for the Dallas Stars to run. Let's see where this arrow lands. This one's gonna land to the north, pretty much north, straight north, and they're not gonna run out of land this time. Oh, do they hit Montreal or do they hit LA? I think they just hit LA. So we're going to get the Kings versus the Avalanche. The winner is going to control pretty much the entire western side of North America. And with 10 seconds to go, the Kings are going to defend home ice and absolutely annihilate the Avalanche. So Colorado didn't play until the top 10 and it was not worth the wait. All right, who will be landed on next? There are still some teams we have not seen play. The Carolina Hurricanes are one of them. And I wonder if they're going to get landed on here or are we going to get a land grab? We're going to go to the south, kind of the southwest. And Carolina 
Carolina is going to have to take on Florida. We haven't seen Carolina yet, so this will be interesting. Florida, we've only seen once, so we haven't seen much either of these teams. Under a minute to go, the Florida Panthers are up by one here. Florida has the puck still. I can't, Carolina can't get it out of their zone. McColl going to try to make a 2-0. Nope. Jarvis, they have to clear the zone if they want to get an empty net. Oh, he's not going to, he gets the puck back. Here we go, empty net for Carolina. Here we go. Oh, he, he loses it. Can Carolina blow it open here? Oh, Orlov. Up to Jarvis, six on five, 15 seconds to go. Do they, they went for a line change. In this scenario, that is insane. Walker with an incredible one-timer. I was muted that whole time. Oh my God. Oh, it was a redirect. Oh my God, Walker with a one-timer redirected by Zavendikov. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh my God, just inside the post. Did he get it off? Did the 1.7 to go and we're headed to extras. What a shot and a redirect. I believe that went just outside of the goalie's pads. Oh my God, Carolina ties it with two seconds to go and we're headed to overtime. Oh my God. Here we go. A minute to go. Aho. Tie game, obviously. Bobrovsky with a great save. I believe this is our third or fourth overtime game in this entire video, and we've seen some absolute classics. All right, here we go. Burns almost takes it past the blue line, flips it back along the boards. Here come the Panthers. Reinhardt on the right wing. Oh, he's going to get smoked. Holy. Are we going to get a line? No. There's no way we get a line change here. Oh, Burns. Oh, one on the goalie. Does he have to? Oh, he, oh, he doesn't get it by him. Here we go. 30 seconds to go. Jarvis getting pinned on the boards. Can Reinhardt sneak it away? He can. They do get a line change off. Boo missed. Nope, nothing. Here we go. Boo. Oh. Oh my god, he loses the puck. Oh my god. Barkov. He's gonna rip it from there. Loses the puck. 10 seconds to go. Looks like we're gonna go to a shootout, boys. Zvenichkov up to Aho. This has gotta be it. Rips it. Yeah. Had to, oh my god. 0.1 seconds left. We have a face off. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Go into a shootout. I believe this is our third or fourth shootout. We have seen some great shootouts. One of them went to like six. Forgot. I think that was Seattle. Jarvis, here we go. For the Carolina. Doesn't get it by. Okay, Florida can take a commanding lead here. Here we go. Here we go. Right, left. Oh, he doesn't sneak it by. Great save. And we don't have a score through one round. Aho up here. Can he get Carolina on the board? Right to left. Oh, he doesn't. We have a shutout the first three attempts. Here comes Barkov going all the way to the left side. He's going to come back to his right. Doesn't get it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, my God. If Carolina can score here, they can take a huge lead. Nekis. Here we go. Left, right. Doesn't get it in. Florida can win it right here. Here comes Reinhardt. Right side. Digs back. Oh my goodness. We're going to a fourth round. Zveshnikov, here we go. Goes back and forth and Bobrovsky steeps it. Oh my God. Here he goes. Right link. This is for the game. Saves it. We're going to a round five. Here comes Kokinemi. Left, left wing. Come back. Oh my God. This is it. If Lindell scores here, Florida wins. Right wing. Coming down. Sneaks it. Oh, we're going to a sixth round. We haven't even seen a goal in this shootout yet. Here we go. Ghost is beer. Oh, he almost had Bobrovsky. These goalies have been incredible all day, only allowing one goal each. Here comes Verhage, right wing. Does he sneak it by? Does he win it? He does not. We're going to a seventh round. Oh my goodness. Here comes Burns. Can Burns get Caroline on the board? He cannot. Oh my goodness. Can Florida win it here in the bottom of the seventh? That's the wrong sport. Rodriguez has a chance to be a hero for Florida. Can't sneak it through. We're going to an eighth round. This is the farthest we've ever seen. At least I've ever seen. I've never seen a shootout go do this deep. Roslovich, here we go. Right wing, left. Oh my God. Florida can win it here. In the eighth shootout round, nobody scored a goal. Here comes Bufkis again. A different one. And he can't score. Oh my God. We go to the ninth round. Here comes Drury. Can Carolina finally get on the board? Here we go. He can't sneak it in. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Florida here can win it if Forsling can sneak this by. Left wing. Left wing, sneaks it. No, he can't sneak it by. We go to a 10th round. Oh my goodness. Someone has to win this game eventually, right? Here comes Orlov. Right, left, right, left. Doesn't sneak it in. Oh my God. Ekblad can win it right here for Florida. Oh my God. I don't know if this is ever gonna end. Oh, he's doing some moves. He got it! Oh my God! Oh my God, he snuck it between the wickets and Florida finally sneaks by Carolina and advances. All right, here we go. Who are we gonna see next? We still haven't even seen some teams and one of those teams I believe is the Dallas Stars. Now, I don't know if Dallas has any room to run. They're gonna be going to the Northeast and I shouldn't have spoken so soon. They do have room to run. They take over Arkansas here and now I believe they are officially, I guess, they're technically completely out of room to run. There's not that much room to run left for any of these teams, but LA still has a decent amount. Montreal technically has here, Chicago, Nashville. There's still some spots where teams can hide. Here we go again. Who are we gonna land on this time? The Kings, the Kings, they have not had a break. They, I think we've seen them the most out of anybody this video. And they're gonna be going to the north, pretty much directly north. Damn, are they really gonna land grab too? 
This is, you know, more north and west, but we're just going to follow it up the coast and they're going to just take over Alaska. Oh my goodness. I did not think we would be seeing multiple land grabs in a row at this stage in the video, but listen, imperialism is about a luck of the draw. And, you know, right now there still is a, some room for teams to hide. Technically, LA could still hide going north as well. Let's see who we land on again. If we get three in a row at this stage, that'd be pretty impressive. We're going to get the Canadian. No, are we going to get the Canadians? Montreal? Okay, so Montreal, they do technically have some place to run. I don't think we're going to get that. They're going pretty much directly west, which means we're going to hit this. And we're going to follow it around all the way up and we're going to take on Edmonton. So we're going to get the final two teams in Canada playing each other for the right to pretty much the entire northern part of North America. Under 40 to go. Edmonton holds a 2-1 lead. They have nine shots on goal. Montreal has 22, but it doesn't matter. Puglosan gives Edmonton a 3-1 lead and the Oilers are going to take down the Montreal Canadiens. Who are we going to see next? Let's see. Is it going to be the Stars? The Stars for the first time. The where are they going to be attacking? They're going to be attacking to the southeast, but it's more east than south, which means they're going to take on the Florida Panthers. The winner of this is going to have the entire south slash southeast part of the map. And here we go. 1-1. One, one, under a minute to go. Reinhardt, the Panthers. Oh, no. Harley leads the way. Robertson. Are we going to get a line change here? Under a minute to go. A tie game. We're looking for overtime. Oh, my God. No, we're not. The Dallas Stars with a wrister. Oh, my God. Jason Robertson gives the Stars a 2-1 lead. How did he get through the Panthers' defense? flicked it left side of the goal oh my goodness i did not ex i i literally did not as i was commentating that it was tied he rips it in there 35 seconds ago do the panthers have an answer i believe this is the first time we've seen the dallas stars as well so it's crazy that this is the first time we've seen them in there winning the game empty net for the panthers ekblad gets it poked away get does he have it oh left side wide left bennett here slammed against the boards back to forcing over to ekblad is he gonna lose oh he loses the puck robertson to hints can he get out of there can he fire one from mid Oh, he cannot. He gets it back. Oh, my God. And the Dallas Stars are going to take down the Florida Panthers. What a shot. All right. The loser of this will be eliminated, and the winner gets their spot in the top five. We're getting the Nashville Predators. I actually don't think we've seen Nashville play yet, which is crazy because we're in the top six. They're going to be going to the southeast. Nope, southwest. And they're going to take on Dallas. So we haven't seen Nashville play once, and they're going to take on Dallas for all of their land in the southeast. Here, a minute left in the third period. Dallas and Nashville each tied at three apiece. The Stars trying to put pressure here on the Predators. Johnston on the right line. Oh, almost tried to slip it across. Here we go, Nashville. Do they have a counterattack in them, Josie? Oh, Dallas is going to get this back if they don't get out of the zone. Tom Coach, are they going to try for a lane? Or excuse me, a line change here? They're not. Stankoven is really out of energy. Under 30 to go. Can Dallas pull off some more? Here we go, Ben. No, yeah, they're really tired. Here we go. Nope, can't get it through. We're probably going to be headed to overtime. 3-3, three, three, 14 shots on goal each team. Pretty even across. We do have a little bit of a line change there. Stamkos, is he going to get one in here right here? He does not. Five seconds to go. If it doesn't happen here for either team, it's going to go to extras. Let's it rip. Does not. And we're going to overtime. Under 20 seconds to go. Dallas has a four on three due to a penalty, but they're not going to take advantage of it. 10 seconds to go. Nashville's penalty kill has been fantastic. Fantastic. Can do Keen score right here. Zips it. Nope. Can't get it. Does he have another one in him? Three seconds to go. He's got to get letter here. Seguin. And we're headed to a shootout. Here we go. Forsberg for the Predators. Can he get one by? He cannot. Dallas with some great defense. Ken Stankoven. Give the Stars a lead here. Here we go. Right to left. Cannot get it by Saros. We head to shootout round two. Here comes Novak. Right, left. Come back. Does he get around him? He cannot. And Nashville, two straight empty trips down the ice. Here comes Hintz. He can take a huge burden off the Dallas goalkeeper if he can score this right here. Hintz, left, right, left, right. Cannot get it by. And we're headed to round three, tied at zero apiece. Nyquist here for the Dallas, or excuse me, for the Nashville Predators has a chance to score the first goal of this. Oh, he cannot. Dallas right here has a chance to win it in round three. The one goal. Can Robertson get it? He scored a late goal in the game. Can he sneak it by? He cannot. We head to round four. Sudden death here in Dallas. Here we go. Left, right. Can he sneak it by? He cannot. Dallas with a chance. Here he comes O'Reilly with a chance to tie. Oh, no, he just. Oh, I don't know if that was off the post or off the goalie. I couldn't see it from that angle. But Dallas nonetheless has a chance to win this right here. Ben, a goal wins. Left, right. Can't sneak it through the wickets. We head to around six. Last two shootouts have been incredible here. Stomkos, here we go. Sneak it by. He cannot sneak it by Ettinger. Oh my goodness. Ice Kanan, here we go. He gets it! Wow! Arister! And Dallas 
survives and takes the land of Nashville. Not much, but you stay alive and you secure your spot in the top five. And we're down to the top five. This is what the map looks like. The Oilers control most of the northern part of North America. The Kings control all of the West Coast, all the way up through Alaska. Dallas Stars control the South and the Southeast. Blackhawks have this little piece of land here in the Midwest. And the Sabres have the upper Northeast part of America. Now, who will be the first team eliminated in the top five? And let's find out here. We're going to see the Buffalo Sabres for the first time in a long time. Technically, I believe there is still some land they could take. This is going to the North east and believe it or not they are they're actually just going to take more land the entire upper northeast excuse me almost the entire upper northeast is now been grabbed buffalo survives and let's see who is playing next will it be the sabers will it be the blackhawks it will be the blackhawks blackhawks we haven't seen them in a bit technically there's a chance they just grabbed some land but i highly doubt it they're going to the northwest and i was wrong they're actually they are they're just going to take over iowa so their piece of land gets just a little bit bigger and just like that we have even less land available Will we get the Blackhawks again? Or will we finally see a different team? We're going to see the Kings. Here we go. Kings technically could take some more land depending on how this arrow lands. This is going to go to the southwest, more south than west, which means this is going to be for a lot of the marbles. The Kings are going to take on the Dallas Stars. The winner is going to control pretty much the entire, is going to control the entire west and south. This is a huge matchup. Under a minute to go, Dallas has a one point lead. I'm surprised the Kings aren't trying to go for an empty net. They just had the puck in the Dallas zone, but Garakov up the Dowdy. Here we go. This is probably where they get the empty net and go six on five. Fiala, yep, here we go. Can he, oh, he gets it poked away. Can the Stars capitalize? Are they going to keep the puck in their zone? Can they get it out of Robertson? Can he get it up? Oh, he can't. Kopitar, Anze, oh, offsides because it crossed the blue line. Oh, that's a dangerous penalty. Here we go. Under 15 to go. Kings have it in the Dallas zone. Hints up to Lindell. Loses the puck. Dallas has it. Segway. Oh, he airmails it. Oh my goodness. Seven seconds to go. Clark, Fiala with no energy. Dallas is going to take down the Kings. Oh my goodness. They're going to control almost the entire map. Here we go. We're down to the final four. You can see Dallas has taken over the entire pretty much bottom left corner of North America. The whole south, the whole west, all the way up through Alaska. Edmonton, the whole north, northeast. Buffalo has a little piece of the northeast. And Chicago has a piece here in the middle. Down to the final four. Who will be landed on next? Will it be a team we have? We have seen the Blackhawks once, but we've only seen them once. A team we have not seen most much of. Where are they going to be attacking next? They're going to be going directly north. And they're going to be taking on Edmonton. So they're going to take on Edmonton for almost all of the land in the north side of the map it'd be a good game here we go under a minute to go chicago actually has a 2-1 lead on edmonton can Connor bedard hold off Connor mcdavid and crew here we go empty net for the oilers hijack strike oh we just hyman martinez gotta get it out of there terrifying can oh terrifying can't get it by kulak bertuzzi oh empty net they gotta get one of these chances i want the blackhawks to win oh what a hit on the boards Martinez, oh, ripped by Perry. They go line change. Martinez, can he rip it from there? He can't. 15 seconds to go for the Oilers. Blackhawks are keeping up the pressure. Up the ice to dry sidle. Leon dry sidle. Uh oh. Over to Perry. Saved it. And the Blackhawks upset the Oilers. Go on the road. Oh my goodness. I definitely did not expect this. And this is what the map looks like with the final three teams. Again, it looks a lot different than even two rounds ago. Dallas obviously controlling the entire West Coast, South, and the Rocky Mountain area. Chicago controlling the Midwest, pretty much all of Canada. And Buffalo controlling a little bit here in this northeast part of North America. Who will clinch their spot in the top two? Let's find out. The Dallas Stars. Based on this, it's probably going to be Dallas versus Chicago. Here we go. Dallas is going to go to the Northwest. And I'm actually wrong. They're just going to take over Idaho. Oh my God. I cannot believe we have another land grab this late in the video. All right. Who is next? Will we get another land grab? I don't, I don't think so. We're going to get the Blackhawks this time. Where are they going to be attacking? They're going to be attacking to the East. And I lied. They're actually just going to take over Indiana. We get another land grab this late in the video. All right. There's no way we get three straight land grabs. Here we go. We're going to get the Blackhawks again. Yeah, they're, I don't really think they have any room to grab land anymore. Here we go. They're going to be going to the northwest. And if you take the arrow, I'm doing it right now in my hand. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. It actually clips North Dakota. So I was wrong. The Blackhawks are going to take some more land. There really is not much room left for anybody to hide. But the Blackhawks and the Dallas Stars managed to find it. All right. Three land grabs in a row. I can't imagine we get four in a row. We need the Blackhawks for three times in a row? No, we're going to get the Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars, let's see where we go. We're going to the southwest, but it's more south than west. Okay, so let's do this. Let's follow this. Let's, let's do this. I think this is more south than west, which means it would go like here, and then it would go down. It would follow this all the way around, and it would not hit West Virginia, but it would first hit Buffalo. So we're going to get Dallas versus Buffalo. The winner makes it to the finals. Here we go. A spot in the championship on the line. Dallas holds a 1-0 lead here in Buffalo. Can the Sabres pull it off? 
make the comeback. They're gonna get have to get into the Dallas zone and get an empty net here. Here comes Quinn. We see the empty net. They have to keep the pressure for the next 45 seconds if they don't have a chance. Buffalo wins the face off. Oh, they can't get the shot off. Puck is not gonna leave the across the blue line though. Here we go. Here comes Ben. Here come the stars. If they can get a shot on goal, it's over. They get it. Dallas is gonna go to the finals. And just like that, we're down to the final two teams. The Blackhawks control the entire north part of the map, while Dallas controls the entire west, south, and east coast. They control a lot, but it all comes down to one game. Here we go. I actually muted myself. It landed on the stars. It landed this way. Don't know if it shows, but the Dallas stars, we actually had two different land grabs up here as well as right here. You can see I just blopped it in there. But now the Dallas Stars, the arrow lands like here. We taste it up the coast and boom. So the Dallas Stars are headed to Chicago. The winner wins the entire video. Heading into the third period here in Chicago at the United Center. High game, no goals. The defense have been fantastic. Only 15 shots on goal between both teams. We got a good one coming down the stretch, boys. Early in the third period, we not only have a Bedard goal, we actually have a tie game. The Stars scored right away in the third period, but Connor Bedard off the redirect here manages to sneak it by Ettinger left side off the post in the goal tied 1-1 what a wrister just under the pad here we go under a minute to go Dallas and Chicago still tied at one apiece can the stars though they can't great stop by Mrazic here we go can Bedard win the face off do we have a line oh heist oh my god off the face off a one-timer for Heiskanen and the stars take a 2-1 lead no Miro Heiskanen with 49 seconds to go, wins the faceoff and zips it in the goal. Oh my god. What a shot. Going with, I believe, the second line for this for the Blackhawks here. Can the Hawks do this? Vlasic up to Hall. He gets oh he's out of there. Empty net for the Hawks. Cannot sneak it by Ettinger. Here we go on the faceoff. Can the Hawks rip one? Here we go. Jones. Seth Jones. Oh, can't get it by him. Empty net for the Hawks. This is not good. If Sink. And, oh, Tyler Segan. I'm pretty sure Tyler Segan just clinched the game for the Dallas Stars. And with less than 10 seconds to go, the Dallas Stars are going to take down the Chicago Blackhawks and win the 2025 NHL 25 Hockey Imperialism Tournament. We had an incredible tournament, but let's show you the map one final time. The Dallas Stars are your champions. Obviously, they've taken over North America. We saw a lot of Dallas Stars, especially down the stretch. At the end of the day, don't know how much hockey I had to do. I love the Blackhawks. I love hockey. It's really cool to see Blackhawks starting to rebuild. Went to a Stars Oilers game last season. Kind of getting back into hockey in general, but it was really fun to see that. At the end of the day, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to comment down below. Make sure if you want to see anything else, make sure to comment down that down below. Like and subscribe. And YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video. Find out if they're right.